Thank you. Have any of you attended my courses before? Has anybody seen me? Okay, when was oh the, the, uh, Dennis, yeah. Okay, now um, my background is I've been involved in European programs since 1980, and that's 37 years. I think some of you weren't even born. Um, and I've been a researcher. My background is I'm an electronics engineer. My research field was renewable energies, and I got involved in European programs. I didn't even know there were renewable energy or European programs. I was just working on renewable energy. And then I got aware of this whole political system and I found the whole European project more interesting than my engineering. So uh, since 1980, I've been involved in over 150 research proposals. A more interesting statistic is I've been an evaluator of over 200 proposals. Now this is one of the things I'm going to recommend you today is become evaluators. They need people like you to evaluate proposals. So I'm going to give you the website and show you how to become an evaluator. That's by far the best training course you will ever get. Now last year, do you, now since 1995, I've stood in front of over 65,000 people in 29 countries. Everybody's confused. And the more confused they are, the more business we get. So if you, if you think that you're confused, even the top research centers next door, Trinity, has a full team of people trying to advise our scientists. So what I'd like to do as Deirdre is to take the mystery out of this whole thing. It's not that complex, you know. So I want to take you on a little tour of it. And I, 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 I've given you two things. I've given you a set of notes. So sit back and relax. You'll see the slide number at the top of the, the page here. Now, in addition to this, in the slides, I've also designed a special website for you. It's an open website. It's Hyperion Gava IE H2020 Biology website. It's on slide number one. And it's also at the very end of your notes. So when I say to you, the first thing you should be doing is analyze the projects already formed. You go in there and you type multiple sclerosis. You type in disability and you can see the projects already funded. So when I mention anything on, on the course, it, it's on the website. At the coffee break, I won't do it now, we, we'll have a look at it. So don't be writing down web pages. That, that they're all inside here. There is one I don't have your access, but I, I, I'd add that. So, so, so what I want to talk about is the background of Horizon 2020. Where did it come from? Like, European Union doesn't spend money to keep people off the street. There's a, there's a reason behind everything they do. So, so we'll have a look at the thinking behind this. Um, another thing, there's a lot of confusion about the structure and terminology. You know, partners, coordinators. So let's get all that out of the way so we can have a decent discussion. And this is the one that, if you go to a lot of workshops, they start on module three and you don't know what the hell they're talking about. And um, now the most common question I get here is what can and can't be formed? And then do we need to raise money? I, I don't deal with money, but I know every time I give a course to companies or to charities, do we get 25% or 75% and what are all these percentages about? So I just do a sample calculation. And the good news is you don't have to match the money. It's 100% funded when you get involved in these uh, kind of things. And then you want to all go back to your bosses or your colleagues tomorrow and you want to know how do we start and how do we proceed. And the website is designed to take you through that. So I think that's a good, uh, good enough deal. Now today we've deal with, I've also, Sylvie, maybe Sylvie, you can tell them what you're doing. Yes, can you stand up? Sorry. Yeah. I'm a EU policy analyst. I'm working with Hyperion, but I'm based in Brussels. So the work that I'm doing is essentially translating the policy making that's happening in Brussels to the research that's happening in the various associations and organizations. Um, because uh, scientists, researchers, they know their own field, but they don't know what's happening in Brussels. They don't understand how a policy made here is connected intrinsically to their work. So just making a, a liaison between the two. So for today's workshop, I gave Sylvia a little exercise to find out 
what are the policies in Brussels relevant to what you do? So if you look at the, the very end of your notes, you produced a little report um, on um, a, a focus on civil society organization. So the things that you think you have to do, she has produced this very nice report saying, look, this is what they're saying about you out in Brussels. These are the advisory groups they're consulting. And you have to ask yourself, why aren't you on these advisory groups? So that's the next thing I want to tell you, is Brussels uses experts. Now, an expert isn't a university professor. An expert is somebody who has practical experience. So there are people like you sitting at the table, and I met somebody this morning who works on European policies and so on. So again, how do we get involved in these expert groups and so on? Now, the next thing Sylvia did, um, she did a survey to see what kind of projects were funded listing organizations like yours. So at the coffee break, we'll have a look at these. So she's listed about 40 projects involving organizations like the European Institute of Women's Health, um, Sustainable Ireland, of course, the Eastern and Midland Regional Assembly. So there's a list of about 40 projects where organizations like yours are already. Now, this is a, a short survey. So, Irish based organizations. Okay, so when I come to that, I'll ask Sylvia to, to say a few words about it. And so she, she, she's based in Brussels, so I just give her assignments like this. And when, when we're doing a project with somebody like aging, we were doing a uh, I was going to the research center on aging, so I gave Sylvia aging and she produced a report on all the policies related to aging, projects funded for the expert group. So I want to teach you how to think, to think about these kind of things for your specific for your specific areas.